Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the Bury by Yugen Surfboards. So the Bury is what you call a little quad fish. Um, got that kind of classic fish outline. Uh, it's a short little offering at 5.5. Five. Um, it holds a whole lot of volume um, and kind of designed for smaller and fun waves. So the Bury I've got is a 5.5 five, and it comes in at 5.5 five by 20 and a half by two and five eighths and 30.4 liters. Uh, so looking over it, as I said, uh, pretty short and wide kind of outline. Um, I'm 5'10 and a half, so at 5'5 five, five, it's a pretty small little board. Uh, looking at the rocker, um, it's really quite flat. The deck is extremely flat, and there's a little bit of rocker shaped into the bottom, and then just a little bit of nose lift just to kind of keep you out of trouble. Uh, what's really going on in this board though is flipping it over. You can see there's a really slight single um, just to kind of catch up the front there. But then what's really going on is there's this really deep double concave. Uh, it is really deep. I don't know if you can see there through the fins uh, to the point where the stringer sticks out almost like a spine or like a channel almost. And that comes through the fins and out the tail. I don't know if you can see it because the concave is so deep, it kind of takes away from this side outline here, uh, which when I picked up the board, I was absolutely frothing because I wanted to see how that went. So I don't know if you can see that there. That is really deep. Um, and it just kind of keeps water moving through the back there. Um, it also thins out the tail, so when you get your foot on that, um, it's super maneuverable. So you've got all that volume up the front, so you've got a lot of pace and moving forward, um, but then when you jump back on that back foot there, because it's thinned out, it makes it really maneuverable and easy to surf. Um, so I've been riding the Bury now for a while, and it's the kind of thing I've been grabbing when we've had like little rip bowls and reforms and shories. Uh, I've also taken it on some bigger days in the kind of head high range. Uh, but really this is kind of a quad fish and probably designed for small little running waves. Actually one of the best surfs I had, I went up to the coast and I surfed um, a famous point brain on the north coast called Crescent Head. Um, and it was kind of in the three to four foot range, so head high to just overhead. Um, and this thing was absolutely epic. Uh, it has so much pace because it has all this volume under your chest. Uh, so it gets into waves really easy, uh, but that same volume under your front foot and going down the, the line on a point break, you just went past it, just, you had so much speed, and then you jump back on this thinned out tail, and you just be able to maneuver the board just through some really nice turns. Sometimes riding some twins and kind of really short stubby designs, uh, they feel quite limiting at times, like I've ridden some twins and you're just going down the line and you're going a million miles an hour, but then you got to go into a turn, you want to do some somewhat performance surf, surfing, and sometimes that can be a little bit limiting, uh, but this felt absolutely epic. Like I said, that thinned out tail with the concave, and then that thinned out tail on your back foot kept it really maneuverable. So you could get this, a lot of pace and a lot of speed and drive down the line, and then just jump on that back foot and put it into a more kind of performance shortboardish type turn. and it's kind of come with two different sets. So what I've primarily been riding is the Rob Machado, uh, I think they call it the Seaside Quad by Futures. Um, and this has been absolutely epic. But what I've noticed is, because this is a, uh, what you call a split keel setup, there's a lot of long fin in the board. So when I've been surfing this, 
it really tends to um, lengthen your turns out and it also keeps the board flatter in the water. So if you've got a nice kind of open face, um, it does these really nice long turns and it feels very controlled. But I've also ridden it with like uh, an upright quad. So any of kind of upright quads have really worked. Um, I've done like the EA quads or the raster quads or anything. They've all felt really nice, but that upright um, quad gives you more kind of pivot and it makes you do much sharper and steeper turns. Um, and they've both felt really good, uh, but I've really enjoyed this. It's given this really nice kind of, it gives you this long edge rail kind of feel and you do these really cool turns. And I think mixed with that, that concave and that thinned out tail that I was talking about, uh, it's a really nice combo and it's been heaps of fun to surf. Um, the Bury is 30.5 litres, so it's a tiny bit more volume than I'd ride in a shortboard, um, and it's felt fine. Um, it's really easy to paddle. Uh, all the foam and everything is going on under your chest, which is just up here. So you're getting into waves really easy, really nice. And if you jump on the front, um, down the line, lots of speed and lots of pace. So yeah, the 30.5 litres, uh, could have done a little bit more foam, but this was actually fine because everything's kind of under your chest and under your front foot, so I felt in full control. So if you're looking at ordering one, uh, probably stick to your performance kind of shortboard volumes or maybe add you know, up to a litre. Uh, again, putting one under your arm, nothing can beat that. Uh, volume is a great guide, but putting a board under your arm is perfect and you always get the right one that way. Uh, overall, the Bury's been a lot of fun to surf. Uh, Yugen Surfboards from Freddy is a young kind of upcoming shaper. Um, I'd seen a lot of people on his boards and I'd seen a few around and I was really keen to check one out. Uh, the Bury was my first delve into checking out his shapes and it did not disappoint. Uh, it was a really good quad fish, really fast, really easy to surf um, and it's one of the funnest boards I've ridden. Uh, look, I really enjoyed it and hopefully you get a chance to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching.